well you can't really see it but right there all that smoke coming from a fire way back there when I was driving earlier I was worried that it was uh, where I was trying to go but where I'm trying to go is like over there so I got plenty of breathing room tomorrow it turns out but I'm it's already nine o'clock and I still have I bet almost an hour drive back here into the hills like this has been and on this has been unreal how far I've had to drive so it's been after this it'll be about a seven hour drive once I get back in here I don't know but bright side I'm getting really good at driving really far without getting tired so <laughs> that's cool I guess but anyway um, plan is to wake up at like five tomorrow morning I think sunlight is six I've got about four and a half mile hike to where I think I have about three mile hike to where I think I have a chance but about four and a half miles is about how far in I want to get to look at some cool stuff um, just did some research and it showed that uh, there was some elk winter back in here decent amount anyway so anyway uh, I'll see you guys first thing in the morning well good morning everyone oh, I didn't get up as early as I was planning to this morning I was too tired but I finally uh, pulled out a different sleeping pad last night because my air mattress for the back of my truck's been getting flat in the middle of the night so I haven't slept well but pulled out a new sleeping pad finally slept well and just like couldn't get out of bed on time so I'm an hour late which is fine I checked the weather and it's really not supposed to be much higher than 80 today um, and I'm gonna be way up high so it could stay 70s which wouldn't be too bad Anyway, I've got I'm about three quarters of a mile, mile in. And it's about four and a half to where I want to be. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm hopping on this ridge. I'm going to, 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 way back into there. Um, to a big mountain back there that I think I'm pretty sure holds off. So, anyway, I'll check back in. Uh, I want to find something. Just, thought I'd check in real quick <clears throat> about two and a half miles in um, there's elk sign everywhere now like I literally hit right back here now there's just tons of elk sign on this ridge a lot of it's old don't get me wrong but <clears throat> it doesn't really matter right now but still like I just hit this mark and all of a sudden there's elk sign everywhere so I saw a couple of rubs back there too, so hopefully I can get into some sheds today. It's super, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really smoky today. There's a uh, wildfire. I don't know. I could see it last night um, when I was driving in. I think it's still about 10 miles north of this stuff I'm going to be in. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Hopefully. <laughs> um, anyway, just side checking real quick. Uh, still just going. I think I'm about mile three, maybe. I don't know. There's some. Well, this nice little kind of bench. It's pretty flat, and I got my first New Mexico shed. It's a brownie, baby. Look at that. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. That thing looks heavy. Look at that bowl. It's not huge, wouldn't score well. And that is chewed up. Look at that back end, all chewed back there. But a sweet, sweet way to start it. I'm, gonna, I'm not even like up to where I wanted to really start looking hard yet. So I'm gonna take a quick loop back that way and then I'll come pick this up. But oh, uh, yes, we're gonna find some sheds today, you guys. Just start my loop and it's not an elk shed but got a little old deer shed here. It's kind of cool. Probably just a mule. I don't know what kind of deer they have. I'd guess mule deer but I mean obviously it's not a good thing to bring but I'm going to bring it still because why not. Okay, let's keep looking. Alright. First ever 
New Mexico Elk Shed, and it's a brown. A little bit chewed up, it's got a cool little devil tine down here, but... Look at that! That's a lot heavier antler. A lot more mass to that thing. Pretty bummed he's all chewed up back there, but... Pretty small base on him. That is freaking cool. I like that little double tine down there. A little bit of character. He's almost got a chunk of skull on him there too. But yeah, that sheds. Look at how heavy that thing is. It's fat little antler. But freaking awesome. We'll load it on the pack and we'll go see if we can't find some more. But, well, it's been about a mile since I've checked in. Just picked up this and I was like, there's gotta be deer shed, so I look back. There's a deer shed right there. And then I'm standing right here and I look down. There's an elk shed right there. Let me grab this deer shed real quick. I'm guessing it's a junker. Maybe it's where this thing came from. I've been a pretty good buck. back. Um yeah, it's probably where that came from. Cool. Nice mealing shed. Let's go see what that elk shed's looking like. I think it's just a rag. Pretty pretty sure, to, but picking up sheds today, that's fun. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is where this fire is, because I know it's north of me. And I think I'm like 10 miles away, but it hasn't been hot yet, so all the smoke is hanging real low, which I don't like, but. Huh. Anyway, here's this little elk shed. I think it's just a little brown rag. And it's clearly, yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Weezy brown, I hope it's not all white. Ooh, it's cracking up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's, wow. That's old, actually. Super cracked out, dang. Oh well, it's a shed, it's coming with. It just loaded up, and I think I have a big gear shed. Looks like it's got a big old kicker on it. Ooh, it's ancient. Look at that thing. Holy crap. That's a giant buck. Holy. <laughs> That's freaking sweet. Huh. Let me take some pictures of that and I'll pull that out. That thing has so much junk. So much junk. Alright. This is definitely the most points I'll ever find on a deer probably, but pull them out. Oh, look at that. Look at that goofy thing. Look at all those extras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would have been like a nine. Nine point. That's freaking sweet. I wish you weren't all chalked out. But looks like a fire came through here in the past year or two, so I'm sure that's why he's all burnt up. But that is a freaking unreal. Look at that. Look at all that nasty stuff. That's so cool. Seems like I'm seriously right off a trail. I mean, I'm like four. I think I'm right around four miles in right now. But uh, that's freaking cool. Oh man, it's like every single one of these little benches I've hit. Obviously, that's where I found my first elk shed. I just bumped some elk too. Didn't see what they were, but every single little. Um, one of these kind of benches I run into, there's sheds on it. So, cool. Let's keep getting after it. Should be more stuff around. Just got another deer shed. I think this one might be brown. Hard white, I don't know. Uh, I think it's brown. Yeah, a little brownie. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's keep going. Well, that was pretty cool. I just uh, saw my first ever coos deer. I've never seen one of those before. Neat. Um, I'm getting pretty close to this. There's like a watering hole up here, I think, or like a, I think they call them tanks or something around here where they actually fill water since there's nothing up here in this super dry country. So I'm gonna hit that and then there's, it's about a mile walk through some good looking country to get to the other one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna walk the line between them and hope that the elk and the deer uh, were using that during the spring. But uh, coos deer shed would be sweet. I'm confident in all the bucks I've found so far in mule deer sheds. 
but uh oh holy i just walked up on a stud look at that shed holy crap that's a big three point while i was talking to you guys dang that is freaking sweet still got my brown in my hand look at that oh that's a big big three point Jesus, that's wild. That is wild. I just saw the deer run out from over here, so I was like, I better head that way. Huh. I'll tell you, I'm killing it on the deer sheds right now. I've already got like five deer sheds. Uh, and only two elk sheds, but I'm like, just got up to this elevation. I've just been like crushing it. Everywhere it's flat, there's just sheds. Look. Big wow. Okay, well, let's keep going. Well, sitting here glass and thought I had something glass up over there. I don't think it's a shed anymore, but look what I just found right down here. Look at that. You know what that is? It's a little arrowhead. Broken. That's freaking cool. Look at that. Right here. Really, a little arrowhead. Cool. Well, I don't know what the rule is on these, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I'd rather not take it and get in trouble. So, cool find. Okay, I just found another shed. I'm hoping it's a coos. I can't tell if it's a mule or a coos deer. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably a mule deer. Looks like a mule deer shed. Another chalker. But cool. I'm just. I'm gonna video the deer sheds until I find a coos deer, I think, but my phone's only at like 45% and I'm pretty far in here, so I'm gonna try and conserve it as much as possible. Got another deer shed. This one might be brown. No. No. It's hard white at least. Well, it's still going chalky, but I think it's last year's. Definitely last year's, but nice five point this is cool the only problem i have with up here right now obviously it's nice that it's flat because this is clearly where the animals are going to winter but there's so much flat there's no way to decide uh, like where i should be hiking like where it's going to be good and where it's not anyway i'm gonna keep going oh well, it's 11 o'clock this is what i'm sitting at so far <clears throat> i've got nine nine sheds i mean a bunch of junk deer sheds but Oh well, I'll bring them with still. Um, just that one brown elk for now. I'm kind of going to be making my way back towards the truck. This is as far as I wanted to go. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit, eat some lunch. Because I haven't, haven't eaten anything today. Um, so I'm going to eat and then I'm going to have a nice pretty much like four, four and a half mile walk downhill to get out of here. But it's stuff. Well, it's been a while. Super hot, but I got another shed. I'm uh Mostly just trying to get out of here right now because it's so hot. This one might be brown, maybe? Did it just get kicked in there? Ah, I probably just got kicked in there. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Well, that's a pretty good deer shed. I'm just going to keep cruising. Alright, well, I made it back to the truck. Went and took a little soak in this creek down here for a minute. Kind of washed all the dirt off my legs and stuff. But Here's a sad total for the day. Ten antlers, just the one brown. The reason most of this stuff's chalked out, like, pretty sure. I don't know if this is a set or not. They're pretty close, but these two are both from last year. One brown deer shed, and then a bunch of other chalked up stuff. But like, even that elk shed's from last year, but it's chalked up on the back because a fire rolled through probably last summer and messed up this stuff pretty bad. But. That deer shed is one of the coolest, I've, probably the coolest I've ever found by far. I've never found, I think it's like a nine point, and it's all chewed and still has a bunch of kickers, so pretty cool. Um, I'll probably come back here at some point. There's a bunch of horse tracks down low, a bunch of elk track low. I just found one little broken tine down there is all, so I'd imagine there's more stuff down there early, but I didn't beat anyone to it this year, so anyway, thanks again for watching. I'm gonna head to Texas tomorrow morning and uh, 
it's probably my last Chevy uh, for the for the year. So thanks again for watching this year. I'll try to get some hunting videos out when I have the chance. Um, there's the rest of the pile. Just gonna stack everything on top and head out of here. So see you guys next time.